Email limits are very important to enforce when you're dealing with email marketing out of Marketo. They're key in not over communicating to your leads, which can lead to disengagement and ultimately a lack of marketing effectiveness. People become desensitized to too much email. So the first step is to understand what is your email. So as an admin, you can go to the admin section, go to communication limits, and this will be a communication limit set over the entire instance of Marketo. So as you can see, by default, it's set to a maximum of two emails a day and a maximum of five emails every week. However, these particular maximums will do nothing in particular unless you actually click this box here, which is to block the non-operational emails. So once you click that, then marketing emails that you send will not be sent if a particular person is over these communication limits. By default, uh, it's not set. Now, how does that actually interact with campaigns? So if we go back to marketing activities and we select a particular campaign, doesn't matter which, you'll notice in the schedule there is this communication limits. What do you do if the communication limits are reached? So in a particular campaign, you can actually come down and say, okay, if the lead is over the communication limits, then we want to block non-operational emails. Non-operational emails are simply non-marketing emails that get sent or that a user expects every time, such as, for example, a transactional email. So although you can set it globally, what's better is to actually send, to actually set campaign by campaign, what do you want to do when someone is over the limit? This is a better way to do it. Now, a side effect of communication limits is that if globally we set it as blocking non-operational emails, what will happen is if you're in a nurture a campaign and you reach your weekly or daily limit, then you may skip or you will not get an email in the next cast. So what will happen is if on Monday 3.30, I have already exceeded my weekly limit and you've blocked non-operational emails throughout the instance, then I will not get my nurture email on the Monday. However, if by Friday or the next week, I'm back under my limits, then I will get it. So I won't skip an email as so much as that it will be paused and then sent when I'm back under my limits. So that's important to understand. Nurture programs, especially if you have a lot of nurture programs running, it's very easy to over communicate to them because these are sent in a certain cadence automatically and they're happening in the background while you're sending out your regular marketing campaigns. So it's important to understand the email limits and how they work and make sure you're not over communicating.